In this video, we're gonna set up hosting with Bluehost. Bluehost is a popular choice for WordPress hosting and they offer lots of additional services and help should you need that. In this video, I'll show you how to properly set up and configure your hosting with Bluehost, as well as set up and configure WordPress so that your site will be off to the best start possible. It's really important to have WordPress configured properly, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss that section. To be sure we're on the same page, use the sponsored link below this video to sign up for Bluehost. If there's any special deals or promotions, I'll be sure to include those below also. Using the sponsored link costs you nothing extra and might actually even save you some money, and it provides me with compensation so that I can provide this free tutorial series. So let's go ahead and take the first step in building our website by signing up for hosting and configuring WordPress. So let's go ahead and get started. So it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. When you go onto the Bluehost website, um, after you've clicked on the sponsored link below, you just click on the Get Started Now button here. And then you can choose a plan. Now, if you're going to get um, your domain name with Bluehost, and I definitely recommend if you don't already have your domain name, just to keep your life simple, to go ahead and sign up for it with the same company that you have hosting with, just because that way you don't have to remember where is my domain name, hosted with and who is my website hosted with. It's all just in one place. So if, if your hosting company offers that, I definitely recommend that. Usually the price for a new domain name is about the same, whether it's with your hosting company or with a separate company. So um, just keep that in mind. So I'm actually going to recommend if you're getting a domain name um, that you choose the uh, Prime here um, because it includes the domain privacy. And the domain privacy basically means that um, when you sign up for your domain name, they won't have your address. They'll have an address um, that Bluehost has. That'll just keep you from getting junk mail, spam emails, and phone calls um, from people who you know, are really excited that you started a new business or a new website and just want to try to promote themselves to you. Um, it'll keep you from getting all that stuff. And it's really kind of a big time saver just not to get a bunch of extra junk. But of course, any of the plans are great. They're all going to work great for helping you get started building your website. So just pick the one that you think fits your budget best. Um, do keep in mind the prices that they're going to jump up to after the initial time period. But hopefully that, you know, the initial time period will be enough for you to get your site at the level that you want it to be at so that you're comfortable paying that extra price. So let's go ahead and select a plan. So if you're going to sign up with a new domain name, you can add it right here. Or if you already have a domain name, just type that in there so they know what your domain name is. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new domain name. I'm going to click next. I'm going to add in my basic information here. And this is exactly the information here that Bluehost is going to help you keep private when you sign up for your domain name. And then just confirm your plan here. And to get the sort of maximum benefit from the pricing, um, you do need to pick three years. I'm actually just going to pick 12 months. I'm going to go ahead and leave the default settings. And then all you've got to do is just enter in your credit card information and click sign up. Okay, and then let's go ahead and go ahead and create a password for your account. I use it LastPass uh, to manage all my passwords. I think that's a really good idea for you to use some sort of password management system. Um, I like LastPass. It's the one I started with, but there's other great options like 1Password and some other ones. Um, and then I'm just going to use it to generate a password for me. Go ahead and enter that in. Agree to the privacy policy again. Okay, and so now here we are on our Bluehost dashboard. Uh, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and set up WordPress so that we can start building our website. Bluehost and most hosting companies these days make it really easy to get WordPress installed because they know so many people are eager to get started building their website with WordPress. Okay, so uh, to get started, let's go ahead and click on the Get Started button right here. I'm going to turn off these plugins that they want to automatically install for you. I don't think you need them. And then down here, these are some options that you can use where they'll install WordPress and configure it for you. Um, but the whole reason why you're watching this video is because I'm going to show you how to do it. So it's a great savings uh, right there. Now, if you just signed up for Bluehost and you're eager to get started on your website, um, just know that it might take some time for your domain name to fully propagate across the internet, basically to fully get set up. So if you're eager to just get started right now so 
So if you just signed up for Bluehost for the first time and you just added a new domain name and you're eager to get started, just know that it might take some time, even though um, Bluehost says that your domain is ready to go, it might take some time for your domain name to fully propagate and get fully set up. So if it doesn't work the first time you try to install WordPress, you know, just walk away for you know, 30 minutes, an hour, um, and then come back and then see if it's working. That's just sort of a tip. It happens with all hosting companies. Um, just don't, the domain names take some time to set up, and it can take longer sometimes depending on you know, where you are in the world and how fast the domain name propagates across the Internet. Um, so just keep that in mind. And down here we've got a marketplace um, with a bunch of different themes, but I already have a great recommendation for a theme that we're going to install um, later on in this series. So we're going to go up here where it says Installation Complete, and we're going to click here to view our credentials. And we've got this message here that says your installation was successful. And our we can access our website here using uh, this link here. And we just want to make sure you remember that URL because you're going to be able to use that URL later to access your site. Um, and then we've got our username that we signed up with and our password here. So let's go ahead and go to the back end of our WordPress website. So let's click on this. As I said before, you're going to want to remember this. Actually, you don't need two slashes. You just need one slash. So it's going to be your domain name slash wp-admin. And that's how you're going to log into the back of your site, back end of your site. And we're going to use that email address and password that we set up. Click login. And since we're watching this video and I'm guiding you guys through this whole process, um, this is sort of a tutorial that you can go through that Bluehost has set up, but you don't need that because I'm going to show you how to do everything that you need. So just click on this, I don't need help. Okay, so here we are on our dashboard. We've got an ad up here uh, for help, which I guess is through Bluehost. Um, so if you wanted that, you can just close it by clicking this close button right here. And then we've got just a few settings that we want to adjust on our website. Um, Typical WordPress installs don't have this marketplace. This is something added by Bluehost, um, and we're going to use our own theme and our own setup, so we don't need to worry about anything in the marketplace there. So let's see which plugins Bluehost has installed for us. Okay, so under our plugins here, um, there's a few things we can get rid of. So we can get rid of this uh, Hello Dolly plugin. Uh, the Jetpack plugin is something you may or may not want. Um, so you can choose to leave it in here or deactivate it and add it in later. Um, we're not going to discuss that in uh, this series. It's not something I personally use, um, but there are a lot of benefits to it if you're interested in it. And we're also going to remove this Mojo Marketplace thing because we just don't need it. Um, I've got some great recommendations for plugins and and a great recommendation for a theme for you to use. And the great thing about WordPress is that there's just so many options out there and so many great tools, um, and you've got access to them just through the regular internet. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. And Akismet um, is a great service. I use it on my website, and it does help uh, protect your site from um, spam. I don't think it's something you need to have right when you first set up your website because it takes a while for people to find your website um, and then also for spammers to find your website. So if you're trying to save money in the short term, there's a fee for it. I do recommend it, but it's not something you need right when you first start out with your website. But if you're starting to notice you're getting a lot of spam comments on your site, and that's something you're probably going to want to activate and install. So I'm going to leave that installed. I'm going to leave Jetpack installed because I think that those are good options for you to look into um, to see if you're interested in it. Uh, I definitely use Akismet. I highly recommend it. Uh, and Jetpack I don't use, but um, it is definitely very useful for some people. It's something I kind of debate, go back and forth on whether I want to use it on my site or not. So let's go ahead and deactivate these two. So you can do it by clicking the deactivate button here, or you can do them both together by clicking deactivate up there and then clicking apply. And then after they're deactivated, we can delete them by clicking on those buttons there and then just clicking delete and then clicking apply. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and go down here to settings. And we can see here we've got the title of our website. And if we wanted to have a special tagline up here, we can add that right there. It's not something that usually displays prominently on your site, um, but you do want to have it set up because it might show up in search engine results. And then whenever you change settings in WordPress, you always want to make sure you scroll down to the bottom and click the Save Changes button. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go down here to Permalinks. This is probably the most important setting to change on your website. Um, this is going to really help your search engine 
optimization automatically. And what we want to do is we want to change it to post name. And what that's going to do is when you create a new page or a new post on your website, it's going to use your URL um, and then plus basically the name of your post or page right up here. And if you created a great title for your post, one that's got uh, search terms built into it, it's going to help search engines to find that content on your site. So it's really important to make this change. So click on post name here and then click save changes. Okay, and then that's it. Now we've got the basic setup for WordPress and we're ready to install our theme. So the next video I'm going to show you how to install a theme um, and I'm going to also introduce you to one of my favorite themes for building WordPress websites. That makes building WordPress websites fun, fast, and easy. So head over to the next video.